Advanced Apes. Humans have always been fascinated with origins. Where did the universe come from? What about life and humanity? All known human culture groups share some type of cosmogonic myth. A birth story to situate and explain conscious experience within the natural and spiritual world. Religious studies professor Mircha Alida recognized that these myths share the desire to narrate a sacred history and relate how supernatural beings created reality in primordial time. Today, scientists have discarded with myth, but they haven't discarded with the human need for an origin story. Historians David Christian and Fred Spear are two pioneers in the study of big history, a field attempting to provide the modern origin story of universe, life, and mind. So where do we start? Our origin begins 13.8 billion years ago. We don't know what happened before this, or whether talking about it before makes any sense at all. What we do know is that space-time emerged from a singularity, smaller than an atom, and it expanded at a phenomenal rate. We also know that the first moments were formative and eventful. The four forces separate from what may have been one superforce. A slight imbalance between matter and antimatter collisions left residue that would become everything we can observe, and fundamental particles like quarks fell into an eternal bond, and atomic nuclei were born. Since this beginning, the universe has been growing ever larger and colder, but also ever more complex in its nature. Unevenly distributed matter became the seeds of galaxies, island universes in their own right, that played host to both star and black hole formation. First generation stars were massive and short-lived. They fused the simplest elements like hydrogen and helium and made more complex elements like nitrogen, carbon, and oxygen. These more complex chemicals would allow for solar systems with planets, and at least in our solar system, a planet with complex replicating chemical structures that continually exchange matter and energy with their environment, life. A theory based on differential survival and reproduction of organisms allows us to explain how life transformed itself and the environment over 3.5 billion years of biological evolution. Significant moments of this evolution include oxygenation of the environment and emergence of multicellularity, proto-plants and animals, terrestrial plants and animals, dinosaurs, and our order, the primates. Over this vast expanse of evolutionary time, there have been three known supercontinents, countless millions of species, and five major mass extinctions. The last mass extinction allowed mammals and our primate ancestors to flourish and radiate. From this complex evolutionary history, a unique genus evolved by the same processes as all other life, but they had large complex brains and opposable thumbs to manipulate their environment. They were humans. Early humans were likely the first species that could contemplate their own existence, understand death, and construct complex technology and culture. Humans were also the first species to hunt with technology, to domesticate other animals, and to burn the old biosphere for energy. We started to communicate with cultural information and record that information in increasingly efficient mediums. In the 21st century, humanity is trying to build a global system of abundance that exists symbiotically with the biosphere. Everyone can share this story because it transcends race, ethnicity, nationality, and even our species. We share a biological unity with life, a chemical unity with the stars, and an atomic unity with the emergence of space-time. If we conceptualize this story using Carl Sagan's metaphor of the cosmic calendar, we can contextualize our own personal existence within deep time. With the Big Bang occurring during the first second of January 1st, all of human written history, from the emergence of the first city-states of Mesopotamia to the landing of robots on Mars, occurs within the last 13 seconds of the metaphorical calendar year. And if you're 50 or younger, you were born less than one decimal a second before the new year. We are newcomers on the shore of cosmic time, but we also find ourselves at a critical moment in the history of the universe. High intelligence is a new phenomenon. Given the vast expanse of deep time ahead, what will we do? What will we become? There may be no questions more interesting, so let's discuss them below. And as always, thanks for watching. Advanced Apes.